What's up, guys? Happy New Year to all, and also, most important of all, a happy 21st birthday to one of my San Antonio Spurs girls, or SAS girls, for sure, as I, I described in my lab branch stories, Miss Samantha Susan Taylor. Today is my, the first day of 2017, next, actually, today is my first video of, um, of 2017 on here on YouTube, um, yeah, because, um, like I said, my channel's not going to be the same like it used to be and what I planned it to be in the first place. Because uh, remember what I said, it's going to be now like more of a Lab Rats kind of channel. And also, Lab Rats are Spurs related channel. Because remember what I said um, in, in, the, in the Christmas update video, in the Christmas update video, where um, my goal, uh, uh, my newest goal was to, um, 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 what was my new goal again? I have it pinned on, on my Twitter page. Hold on. I'm going to read it right now. As of late, my, okay, now I get it. My goal, my newest goal is to get my name out there to the cast and crew of Lab Rats, both the original and the Elite Four spinoff. And then there's also means the co-creators, Chris Peterson and Brian Moore. Uh, get them to notice my videos on here on YouTube, as long as they're already the Lab Rats or the Spurs or anything basketball. Like, even if it's basketball in general, we can pretend I'm a Spurs player. I can pretend I'm Tim Duncan and somebody else is a Spurs player, whether they're a Spurs fan or not. And, um, and hopefully get them to note, yeah, and I get, get them noticed, and also getting follows from them from all over social media, like, get the, like, the actors and actresses and, the, and, and the, all the personnel from the show to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, add me on Snapchat, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, so anyway, we actually have a few Labrador birthdays I'm actually planning on this year. Oh, Anna Gregory and Ashley Ogoda, who actually played, um, uh, Stephanie and Taylor, um, they both had the same birthday. Sadly, though, the Spurs don't play that day, but, um, but I'm hoping that, um, that, um, that I, I can get them to note, get them to notice when I make them their birthday video on here. Because it's going to be, it's going to be, both of them on one video. It's going to be Happy Birthday on the Gregory and Esther Ogoda. I'm not sure how old they're, ter I think it, hold on. So, Anna Gregory, if if you're if you're watching, and as you go to if you're watching this, that I'm, this is a, this is something for I'm dedicating to you mainly, and Matthias Ward, if you're watching, and this is dedicated to him because he has a birthday this month too. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna check see how old everybody's turning. All right, on January 9th, Anna Gregory is turning 21. Hey, for Duncan. Okay, for someone whose character in my Labrack story called Tim Duncan an old retired never was. Because, remember, Stephanie played a spoiled mean... I mean, ah. Oana Gregory played a spoiled mean student named Stephanie in the real life lab rats. It was And found it funny to hurt people's feelings. Especially Bray, who's actually in the story is my fictional girlfriend. But yet, instead of wanting to hurt her or, or Adam or somebody like that, they, she wants to hurt my feelings. She finds it funny to hurt my feelings, like talking shit about the Spurs. Oh, man, I'm calling Tim Duncan like names like old, retired, never was and shit. Uh, telling me the Spurs are treasure so she can hurt my feelings. You know, st <laughs> I was trying to find a funny bit. Oh, and a Gregory, a.k.a. Stephanie's actress, is turning 21 for Duncan considering she insulted Duncan in one of my stories. All right, what do I actually hear go to? Let me see here. Oh, she's turning 24. That's, um, they, there's a lot of 24s on the Spurs. Richard Jefferson, who now plays for the Cavaliers. Um, who else is a 24? Andre Miller was a, was 24 on the Spurs. Anybody else who was 24 on the Spurs? Yeah, as you can tell, I'm, I'm the ultimate San Antonio Spurs fan. Um, who else was 24 on the Spurs that I can think of? Shit. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. That's all I can think of for now. Uh, Andre Miller and Richard Jefferson are the only ones I can think of. But anyway, speaking of San Antonio Spurs, they actually played today at 6 o'clock p.m. our time on Fox Sports Southwest, which means basically um, 5 o'clock each side the dare thing. You know, San Antonio is an hour behind, behind my, my, my time here where I live. So yeah, so today's a special New Year's Day episode of Bang Bang Tito Puente on Fox Sports Southwest. Bill Land, the, the normal Spurs player, player announcer, is taking the day off. He's taking the holiday off to be with his wife and family. So therefore, Andrew Monaco normally does um, the sideline reporting for Spurs home games, and um, also um, does, has worked with Rick Renner of the Fox Sports South, Southwest Studios for road games. He's taking Bill's place because every time Bill Land takes to take some time off, Andrew Monaco goes in his place. So I get to hear Andrew and Sean, Sean Elliott, do the commentary today. 
So yeah, that's why, and hopefully, I'm also dedicating this video to Samantha, my friend Samantha Taylor. Oh, in the Lab Rat stories, whenever playing the, the Spurs versus the Lab Rats villains and antagonists, she plays Danny Green's part. And of course, as you know, even though Duncan's retired, I played Tim Duncan's part. Because, you know, just because Tim Duncan's retired in real life doesn't mean he does, does, he'll no longer am acting. I have a huge influence in my Lab Rat stories as a player. Where I'm still playing as him, because it, it would feel, it would feel, it would feel weird, um, you know, it would feel weird to have me um, uh, play somebody else other than Duncan in a, in a lab where we're playing basketball, where it's uh, real basketball, like the uh, playing like actual NBA basketball, where it's the lab rats and uh, money men antagonists versus the Spurs of me, Bree, Skyler, Taylor, Lexi, who's nice and who actually I turned nice in the stories, um, Kate. Who else is on the team? Samantha, Monica, Mary, all my friends, all the Sarah, everybody, all, all my friends, right, are ladies who like the Spurs. So yeah, as you go to the same birthday as Oana Gregory, one's turning 21 for Duncan, while others turning 24 for, for Richard Jefferson and Andre Miller. Now, who else? Okay, Matthias Ward. I'm dedicating this to him too. Oh, oh yeah, it's his birthday is the is the 18th. His birthday is like the 18th, where um he's turning 18. Where, that was Russell Butler on the Spurs last year before he was let go. I can't think of another 18 on the Spurs, but Matthias Ward, this is for you too. Um, on the night and also for on honor, Greg and Nancy. I don't keep beating a dead horse, but since since it's your birthday month, I'm shouting out to you guys, dedicating the video mainly to you. So here are my plan. Here are my plans for 2017, so I can just quit beating a dead horse. Um, more lab rat stories, more birthday stories for my friends, and, and I play big parts in the stories, whether they're f uh, not the famous ones, but my regular ones who are not famous, I see every day, because I don't see Kelly Berglund, Ashley Ogoda, Paris Burrell, or Anna Gregory every single damn day. Well, we also have my birthday coming up, um, next month, I'll be 23, February 15, 2017, we'll have my birthday episode of Lab Rats, and I don't want no villains in my episode, so Matthias Ward, I know you play a villain in Lab Rats, so therefore you're not going to be in my birthday episode, hell no, I mean, I like it and everything, but Marcus is not going to be ruining my birthday, neither is Crane, neither is Giselle, neither is Roman and Riker, um, who else is a villain, Stephanie ain't ruining my birthday, neither is Sebastian, none of those guys are ruining my birthday, I know some of my friends said they do not want villains in their birthday episode, so I'm just gonna let, let them let, let them off the hook. So yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna watch the Spurs game today on Fox Sports Southwest at six o'clock, aka Bang Bang Tito Puente. Now here's the explanation explanation behind that. Every ever since the 2013-2014 season when the Spurs won their fifth title for redemption against the Heat after that devastating loss in, in 2013, where where missed free throws and pop taking Duncan out of the game in the closing minutes after he, when he had 30 points and 17 rebounds caused from the 2013 championship. Like the year after that, everything they won, won their fifth title and they were they were they were getting redemption. They came back angry and demolished the team that beat them the year before in five games. Every time the Spurs hit a three pointer, I say, bang bang, Tito Puente. Because it's based off Mike Breen on ESPN and Sunday the next game on MSG. When any when any player or next player hits a three point, he'll say bang. So therefore, I came up my own for the Spurs like tired of that says bang bang Tito Puente. You get it? So therefore, every time I see a Spur, every time the Spurs game on a Fox Sports Southwest telecast comes on, I um, I call it I call it getting ready for I call it a bang uh, I call it the bang bang Tito Puente show or just bang bang Tito Puente for short. It's really funny too. <laughs> yeah, bang bang Tito Puente. Although sometimes when I, when someone hits a real three point in real life basketball without without use of the NBA, then I'll say it. Like at my basketball uh, skills practice last year. I believe it was last practice before my competition, the qualifiers. It was so funny because after practice was over, um, I think guy went to hit. I went to shoot a three point. I missed the first one. I bounced off um, the backboard. And I got my own rebound. I went and shot it again. I dribbled a little bit. I shot it again, and they shot. I knew it was going in. I can tell. My grandmother didn't know. Actually, it's my grandmother's birthday month too. And it, it goes in the basket, and my grandmother's in the back yelling, "Oh, bang, bang, Tito Puente!" And I'm yelling, "Oh, mama, what a shot by Danny Green!" And I did the exact same thing at basketball tryouts almost um 
three months ago. I actually hit a three pointer on my by my Spurs ball. Not not the not the new one I just got, but the old one I got at Cedar Point last summer. I said I I hit the three pointer and said the same thing. Bang bang Tito Puente. Oh mama, what a shot by Danny Green. Yes, I do love my San Antonio Spurs, as you know. So yeah, I'm gonna watch Bang Bang Tito Puente today. I can't the Spurs game on Fox Sports Southwest. Hopefully they win for Samantha Taylor's birthday today. That's one of my best friends from out of state. My out of state best friend is my my my, my ex neighbor Monica Louise Nelson, who also loves the Spurs. And I was also in the stories too, and um, with Samantha and I, where Samantha and I are playing. Dan uh, Samantha is playing Danny Green. And I'm playing Tim Duncan, and Monica is playing her favorite Spur, Manu Ginobili. Her younger sister Mary is playing the role of Tony Parker because she's a Spurs fan and likes Parker. So yeah, I'm trying to make it all realistic and, and shit. So my okay, let me go back to my plans. Bang bang Tito Puente today. Um, my um, what's it called? All right, my cousin uh, Nico, my baby cousin Nico, tomorrow is coming to get his presents. Um, I'm going to get his presents. Uh, then even though Christmas is long, is long gone. Um, okay, and then Tuesday, in two days I go back to work. Um, and, the, and also the Spurs are going to Mexico City later this month to play the Phoenix Suns. It's, it's actually going to come to the Spurs road game. It's going to be a neutral audience. It's going to be on Fox Sports Southwest and NBA TV. But I bet you the Spurs game is going to black out where we get my location because NBA TV and it's a big league game. And either way, we're going to get. I don't. I think we're going to get the Suns come a commentary because it's a Suns home game. Because no NBA TV is how too damn lazy to hire their own announcers. And then of course we got my basketball skills. Um. Um. Prop practices this uh, starting uh, actually the season in general just starting this starting this Friday with um with the practices and then we got we got my competition I think the qualifiers again um in two months uh, in March um where um oh yeah I'm probably gonna see my friend Macy Buchanan again I'll probably see my other friends Tabby Spencer and Savannah Popovich again too and hopefully I can get to see that Morgan girl and get to know her I remember I wanted to I was talking I was gonna get to know her more but by the time I was doing my shit and she was gone and there was this one girl who um I was single at the time I think no I had a different girlfriend yeah I had a different girlfriend but I broke up with her months ago I haven't but the, um, these are just girls of mine that are just friends. Um, I know my girlfriend Kayla knows about the girl, like girls that are just friends. Um, because I've always had a, a lot of lady friends before I ever had a girlfriend. Period. Well, there's this one girl named Caitlin I wanted to talk to, but I think she had left like during uh, I, I, after my, guys. I, she was actually running a a, a competition but, uh, of her own before I was doing mine. But by the time I was done, her and Morgan were gone. So hopefully I can get to know them too. Get to know the both of them, Caitlin and Morgan. So yeah, I don't know their last name. That kind of, the reason I don't know their last name because they left before I could even talk to them after I was done with my after I was on my playing. So yeah, um, we also have um Kelly Berglund, aka Bree's birthday next month. We have we yeah, and she'll be turning. Oh yeah, she'll be turning Duncan too. <laughs> yep, Kelly Berglund will be turning a happy twenty fourth Tim Duncan birthday on on February on. I know it's February 9th, but what's the day of the week? Is it? On Thursday, February 9th, 2017, Kelly Berglund will be turning, um, this is the 9th? Hold on, oh my god, she's gonna fucking kill me if I forget. She will kill me, oh my god. Yeah, no, no, I got it, I got it. February 9th, 2017, Kelly Berglund will be turning a happy 21 Tim Duncan birthday. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, Kelly Berglund is my, num is my favorite, my number one favorite in all of Lab Rats. But this is mainly dedicated to Matthias Ward, Ashley Ogoda, and Oana Gregory all have birthdays this month. Which Matthias Ward is turning 17th on, on, I mean turning 18 on January 18th. And Oana Gregory and Ashley Ogoda are turning 20, 21 and 20, um, let me make sure I got it right, um, 21 and 24 on January 9th. So they'll all be getting birthday videos um, on, here on YouTube as part of my Lab Rats goal. Do I have any other plans for this month? Um, my grandmother's birthday is the twenty second of January. I'm not. I know all of you, but I'm not telling you. I'm not telling her. That's our secret between her and I. <laughs> so yeah. Um, there's more Spurs games to come up, and the Spurs actually play on my real birthday too. They play. My birthday is Wednesday, February fifteenth of twenty seventeen. When the Spurs actually, the Spurs will be on the rodeo road trip at that time. So hopefully they better win that damn game, I swear to God. And then NASCAR comes back um, um, on the February 18th, the anniversary, um, 
The 16th anniversary, this is my original friend Jerry Dale Hart Sr. passed away in the 2001 Daytona 500. But I'm pretty much over that right now. I don't really get upset about that much anymore. And then hopefully, maybe a little gathering on the day of the Daytona 500. And also the Spurs play on that day too, after the 500, against the Lakers on Fox Sports Southwest in Los Angeles. Last game of the radio road trip, I believe. And the last thing I'll describe... <coughs> okay, let me make sure I can remember. I'm drawing the blank. I'm drawing a blank. It's something that's happening this month. It's something that's happening this month. Trying to remember here. I can't even remember. I am so... I am so... I mean, normally I don't forget anything, but it's so... It's so hard because there's so much shit going on. Trying to remember. Somebody's birthday, I know that. Okay, please excuse me, guy. I'm trying to remember what the hell was I gonna say. I, I did it have something to do with the Spurs or something? Yeah, I'm gonna check Spurs.com and try to find out. Oh, now I remember. Okay, now I remember. All right. Last but not least, last thing I'm gonna describe. Okay, I just remembered it with the Spurs. This month, uh, this month on the 21st, Saturday night, the 21st, my father and I are going to the Spurs game against the Cavs, um, and, and here, here in Ohio, where, um, the Spurs are coming to town to play the Cleveland Cavaliers, because this is my only time, uh, this, every time the Spurs to come, come to a destination where I live to our road game, it's the only time I get to see them, because I don't live in San Antonio, going to their home games, at the home games at the AT&T Center. Therefore, my father and I are going to be dressed, certainly dressed in Spurs clothes, Oh god, and hopefully we don't, we don't, nobody messes with us, especially me, because you know how I get crazy at, at Spurs games when I'm in person. I get too damn crazy as long as the Spurs, as long as the Spurs aren't playing bad like they did last year. Because, yeah, because last year would have been my last time seeing Tim Duncan play in person, but it will, but he was out injured with a sore knee, because he, he was like almost 40. But even if you were to play, I don't think it would have made a difference. If, you, if any Spurs fans who recall, um, or if anybody who knows that Spurs recall who knows about basketball, they didn't show up to play that day. And I happened to go to that game and high five the Spurs players before the, before the game. And I said I was never washing my hands again. Which, oh, you know, that's, that's a really funny story I gotta say. Because I actually was doing that. I was like, I was trying to avoid water. My hands start touching water, any kind of water and, and foam. And so every time I took a shower, I put rubber gloves on. I actually have a, a photo on Instagram of, of my Instagram love it from the day after that game when I was getting ready to watch a Hornets game on TV on Fox Sports Southeast. The first time I got through. The second time my father was coming to get guard. This was actually the second the day of the second time I, the, the, I posed the picture. My father um, found found um, rubber gloves in the garbage can. I was doing the trash that day. Um, uh, the same, um, that day, um, like uh, when he was coming to the bathroom in my bathroom, he was like, "Okay, where the hell did this come from?" He had a, he had a, he had a, he had he had he knew it was me, but he wasn't sure what the hell I was doing. I told him what I was doing. He was so pissed. I was being such an idiot because if I would have just gone the whole way without washing my hands ever again after touching the Spurs hands, I probably would have gotten sick from all the germs. But even if Tim Duncan would have played in that game, because that was his last final year playing last year, um. If, even if he were to play that game and I were to high five him, he would have wanted me to wash my hand. And just like if if I were to touch Kelly Berglund's hand, Paris Burrell's hand, Oana Gregory's hand, um, who else? Um, Aristair Goda's hand, um, Grace Coffin, or any of the Labyrinth cast, or yeah, if I were to touch any of their hands, they would want me to wash my hands too. Exactly. Kelly and Paris would mostly tell me the shit. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully nobody, uh, nobody messing with me or my father while I'm at the Spurs game that, and, and this later this month on Saturday the 21st. But also, um, I, they might mess with me a little bit because I, cause I have that that happened to me in the, many times in the past when I go to Cavs game with the Spurs, when, they, when they play my team, the Spurs. Because I remember one time the Cavs crossed over, team crossed me over and they saw my Tim Duncan jersey. It was not this one, it was a gray one I had. You know, I think my father, my uncle, and my cousin went to that game. This was 2014, and this happened to be my last time seeing Tim Duncan in Perth. I didn't know at the time that the next year he was not going to play in the same game because he was out injured with the knee injury. But um, the 2014 version, um, well, there was two Spurs games in 2014. The early 2014, 13, 14, before LeBron came back, 
It was great when he was last year in Miami, but then the, then the next year, part of the 14, 15 season, the 2014 part, he was already back. But the, but um, it was um the first half of the year. It was my last. It was first half of the new season. Um. My father sent me down to look for my uncle and cousin, but I couldn't find them. I turned around and go back to him. But at the same time, the Cavs crossed them. He was coming the other way. They were looking for people to cross them. When they saw me in the Tim Duncan jersey, they went like this and crossed me over. I was, I was I, all I could do was laugh. And the Spurs started to look when it was my last time seeing Tim Duncan in person and how big a Spurs win. It was so funny. And I remember later that same season, a, a Spurs fan got, um, got, um, got stuff, got shit, poor, um, uh, thrown on him at a Rockets game, and in Houston the Spurs still won. It seems like every time the home team um, messes with the Spurs fan, when the, when the Spurs fan invades the home turf, the Spurs win every time. So yeah, that's so why I'm, I'm gonna be wearing my new Spurs shirt and the one with the Fiesta logo on it, the 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 tan, the, the khaki colored one. You know what I mean? So therefore, yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun this year. Hopefully, um. 2017 can leave Betty White alone, and who knows? Maybe I know people are gonna hate me for this, but maybe 2017 will take will will, will will claim Kyle Larson as a victim. No, no, sorry, I should not say that. But anyway, um, that's all I want to describe for 2017 for my for my plans. And then until next time, this is Mark Oliver signing off. I hope you have, everyone has a good night tonight, a better day tomorrow, and a great year all around. Take care, everyone. Have a good day and happy New Year. And go Spurs, go.